The hole is the other way. What is up, guys? I am here at uh, John John's house, aka John Sanchez. Um, I'm about to get my hair cut. That's why I look so funny right now, because he's about to cut my hair. We're actually going to be recording it. I'll be showing you guys what, what I do for my haircuts. Time for the haircut, so let's check it out. <laughs> Talk to me. Alright, so I think what we're going to do today is, um, my sides are growing out a little bit, so I think I'm going to do like, probably like a half taper. So maybe, just like, taper it down, but up to like, maybe like right here. Okay. Um, and then on top, I kind of like the length, so maybe just like thin it out a little bit. Okay. Slice. So just thin it out a little bit. Thin it out, short it just like a teeny bit. Probably like a mid taper. Yeah. Mid taper. All right, man. Cool. Sounds good. We got the nice lighting in here. This is our team, minus one person. I know, right? Where's Julio at? He's an OC, apparently. You got hub hubby, dude. We got Rhino <laughs> over here. Cobby Life Fitness over here. Like, never had strong. somebody film me cutting hair. This is this is actually kind of cool. Three cameras on here? Three cameras. <laughs> Three cameras. Another satisfied customer. Haircut complete. I didn't do very much to the top, just thinned it out a little bit. Um, but definitely cut down on the sides and the back. Much shorter than it was before. Because once my sides grow out, it starts to look really ridiculous. I'd like to thank my uh, my friend John here for the haircut. What's up? You're welcome, dude. Anytime. <laughs> you sure? Anytime? John John. Not anytime. <laughs> what is up, Frenies? How are you guys doing today? Um, I know the lighting's a little weird right now, but it's because I'm standing right next to my patio. The light bouncing on the tiles hitting me in the face, so it looks like the light's all coming up like this, and it looks really weird. But um, anyway, just wanted to update you guys with what I'm doing today. Um, so pretty much, as you guys know, I'm sticking to my, my whole vegan thing um, on the weekdays. And throughout the week, I still, I'm, I'm working out, I'm hitting the gym. My schedule for the, the week is pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I hit the gym, I work out. And then Tuesday, Thursday are my active recovery days. It's, it's a recovery day where I don't actually lift weights or do any, you know, like workouts. But since it's an active recovery day, I can either go biking, I can go jogging, I can go play volleyball, I can go like play golf like I'm about to do today. I just had breakfast and for my active recovery today, um, I'm gonna be going to the golfing range, get a few swings in for like an hour or so. We'll see where my day goes from there. So without further ado, let's get to it. Guys, I found my mat. It's like the third one over from the end. Here it is. He, he just actually just came by and he actually asked me if I wanted to actually hit a golf course later. So, you know, I said yes. So I guess today's gonna turn into like kind of like a, just like a golf vlog for you guys. I know it sounds really boring, but you guys don't really understand until you play. I remember in high school I used to hate on golf all the time. I was like, oh, golf's not a real sport. It's not a real sport. Look at me now. Look who's talking. Um, me, by myself, to you guys. So if you guys haven't tried out golf yet, I highly recommend 
that you guys come and try it out, play, get a feel for it, because it's actually really fun and it's very relaxing. I feel super intimidated just because, you know, to be able to play it on National Golf Course, you have to know your swings, you have to know, you have to get used to like all the distance. As you can see over there, there's a 100 yards, and then 150 yards, and then 200 yards. Um, for the most part, oh my god. We'll see how it goes later. It's gonna be a disaster. And of course, I can't forget to Snapchat this because uh, I gotta show people I have a life. Ha! All right, guys. I'm all done at the range here today. I did about like I don't know. I would say like 60, 70 balls worth of swings. That concludes my trip to the range. I'll resume with you guys back when I go to the actual golf course itself. So I just took off my glove, and I really did not notice. Um, you wear a glove for this reason specifically. Look at that. I got a huge blister last time from playing, and like, you know, it was a blister, but now the skin just tore off, and it kind of hurts. Like, I can't even extend my finger without it, like, stinging. Remember, kids, no glove, no love. All right, guys, and the time has come. I am now resuming with you guys at the actual golf course, and I'm super intimidated. But my buddy Ian here is going to be helping me all the way through. Oh, yeah. Here I am, standing on the ground of our very first hole. Just look at how intimidating this looks. The flag, some, you see that, the orange? That's orange flag, right? It's way down there. I think this one they said, or he said it was uh, 187 yards. 190 yards to that orange flag right there. I'm be teeing off right here at this blue block. And I'm scared. You this ready? is like this is like preschool for you, right? <laughs> this is easy mode. <laughs> Here, you want me to go first? Uh, yes, such okay, just so I can okay. see. Uh, let's see. Let's. I mean, it was pretty good in high school. I don't know about now. I didn't get to warm up or anything. As you can see from his swing, he is a god. He's been playing since you were how old? Since I was seven. Seven. And we're both 23 now. <laughs> Just so that gives you guys an idea oh, of how oh, long he's damn. been playing. Alright, here we go. Oh shit. That was bad. What? But it, if it, that was bad, then what, what is good? The hole is the <laughs> other way. Damn. What do I do from here? Uh, you take another golf ball, dude. Oh. Damn, bro. All right, we're gonna bring your golf ball <laughs> and put it near the fairway, okay? Right near the green. We're gonna we're gonna get something going. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Well, as you guys can see, I hit my balls that way earlier, and uh, we found another one. So I'm gonna start there. There's other balls up on the hill, so I think I'm gonna grab those just because low key get them. <laughs> Got one here. Got one here. Cheap golfing, guys, because it's a rich person sport. So intimidating. Um, that I mean, it works. You're going in a straight direction right there. But, but you're, but you're not on the green. <laughs> Let me see if I could get Golf it. Golf is not easy, guys. Dude. Not even close. Henry's at the tee box. It's a bloody good shot. I can't even see it. Now we're doing the hardest thing about golf itself: finding your ball. Um, I don't think that was my ball. This also wasn't my ball. I maybe shouldn't have used a range ball. Or is that mine right there in the tree? I'll just say that's not mine. <laughs> uh, there's so many balls over here. Should, should I just should I just pick one or? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> God. Oh, that's funny. You guys saw nothing. <laughs> this is where my ball ended up. <laughs> it's right behind a tree. God damn it. Dude, you risk yourself like hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's Golfing's pretty hard, guys. <laughs> Golfing's very hard. Right, in case you guys, uh. In case you guys are wondering how golfers get their exercise, because it does look like a very static sport to the outside world. It's walking hole to hole. The first hole was way over there and it curved that way. You gotta carry these heavy ass 